What's up everybody? Today, we're gonna to talk about Topps Knives Cleavers. Now, I am not the expert on all things cleaver, but I do know a few things about our knives and knives in general. So we're gonna run through some of the options that people think of as cleavers when they look at our knives. Um, the first one that I'm gonna show is an actual cleaver and was designed to be more of a food processing type knife. And that is El Chapo. So El Chapo is made with 1095 high carbon steel. It's got a sniper gray Cerakote black canvas micarta handles. Basically cleavers, they're meant for chopping either meats or vegetables, but you can also do standard kitchen type cuts with this kind of knife because it does have a little bit of a curve. So it's not a completely flat blade. That's on purpose. Typically when you're, when you're cutting things on a cutting board, if you have a completely flat blade, you have to hit it perfectly every time or you're gonna end up with a spot that's not quite hitting your cutting board. The next blade that is a cleaver type design. Uh, this one is called the Tidal Force. Basically the Tidal Force is a mixture of a cleaver with a karambit. So Obviously the karambit style handle has the ring for a finger, uh, but the blade shape is very similar to El Chapo, um, basically a cleaver type blade. This was designed not so much for use in the kitchen. It was more designed as an outdoors blade, um, not even a tactical knife. Really when you're outdoors, uh, some, what some people will do with a, with a karambit type knife is they'll do their cutting and then they'll kind of drop the blade and if you gotta tie a knot or do things like that, you still kinda have your hands free, and then they'll just swing the blade black or back around and continue cutting. So for those that like that cleaver design, that kinda like having more weight in the blade than in the handle, Tidal Force is a great option. You can use it for food, but one thing to consider here is when you put this flat, you can't quite get this front part of the blade to touch your table because the finger ring will get in the way. You can get some of this rocking motion towards the tip of the blade, so it'll work for, for foods if you would really want to, but you might end up fighting with that finger ring, hitting the table while you're trying to cut food. So not necessarily a, a kitchen knife, but it is a cleaver style blade. So the, uh, the Tidal Force has tungsten Cerakote on it. Um, tungsten Cerakote, burlap handles, kydex sheath, um, really cool design, especially if you're looking for something a little a little more unique for the outdoors. Last up is the Nada. And a lot of people, when they see this, their first thought is, that's a really cool cleaver. This is not technically a cleaver. More, uh, more so, it's a gardening type tool. It's, a, it's to clear brush, it's to cut small branches, things like that. Uh, nada is a Japanese word that has a few different translations. One of them is hatchet. So nadas traditionally in Japanese culture have been used in kind of in place of what you would see as a hatchet in more Western cultures. Um, the reason for that is the blade is offset from the handle, it's canted. So you get that, that forward chopping motion similar to a kukri, but you have this flat blade, which is gonna be more like a hatchet. So. Um, so again, this one, not really a cleaver. It's a great design, it's great for outdoors use. It's got weight to it. It's still blade heavy, it's still a flat blade, but it is not really a cleaver. The main reason for that is similar to the Tidal Force, if you try to cut food with this, you're gonna run into this problem here where the handle hits your cutting surface and only the tip of that blade is able to, to, to make contact. So if you were trying to cut fruit or vegetables or meat with this, you basically need to be kind of right on the edge of whatever cutting board or surface you're using to be able to get that blade flat. Um, so again, the forward curve on this is more for outdoors use, specifically cutting branches um, or other, other objects made of wood. A great design, cleaver-esque, but not really a cleaver. This one is also 1095. It is Midnight Bronze Cerakote. It's got a two-tone handle on it. That's burlap micarta with black canvas micarta. And uh, comes with a leather sheath. 
that is ambidextrous. So those are kind of the standard cleaver type designs here at Tops Knives. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll answer them for you and let us know what you want to see in the next video. And thanks for watching.